Australia and volcanoes. The only continent with no active volcanoes is Australia. Australia is the only continent without an active volcano. There are two active volcanoes off the continent of Australia but still within Australian territory. They are located on Heard Island and on the McDonald Islands. Australia does not have any active volcanoes because it does not have plate boundaries. There is evidence of historical volcanic activity throughout Australia, with much of the activity having taken place along the east coast of the continent. The volcanic activity is thought to have happened sometime in the past 60 million years. In general, volcanoes are said to be extinct once they have been inactive for at least 10,000 years. The Yamato Dynasty The Yamato Dynasty of Japan traces its origins to 660 AD, making them the oldest continuous hereditary monarchy in the world. Japan's Yamato Dynasty traces its origins back to 660, making it the oldest continuous hereditary monarchy in the world. The 79-year-old Emperor Akihito has reigned since 1989 and is, according to legend, the 125th emperor in his line, though there's some debate as to the exact count of emperors. His seat is called the Chrysanthemum Throne and sits in the Imperial Palace in Kyoto. Saudi Arabia There are no rivers in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia does not have any permanent rivers, but does have numerous wadis, valley, which are riverbeds that are either permanently or intermittently dry. This list is arranged by drainage basin, with respective tributaries indented under each larger stream's name. Lakes in Canada Canada has more lakes than any other country. Canada has more lakes than the rest of the world combined. Canada is the second largest country on the face of the earth, and it has a lot to brag about. Out of all the natural lakes in the world, more than 50% are situated in Canada. Spain's tourism income Spain's largest source of income is from tourism. The economy of Spain is among the largest in the world, with its gross domestic products standing at $1.36 trillion. The country ranks at 14th place in the world's largest economies. In Europe, Spain's GDP is only surpassed by that of France, Italy, Germany, and the UK. Despite being hit by the 2007-2008 financial crisis and the property recession of the 2000s, the economy has experienced significant growth in recent years, growing by 3% in 2016. However, the country is heavily indebted, with public debt being equivalent to 99% of Spain's GDP. In 2013, the country's gross external debt stood at $1.3 trillion. The euro is the official currency used in the country. The regulation of financial institutions is handled by the Banco de España, the nation's central bank. The country has invested heavily in infrastructure to facilitate the growth of industries in the country. Spain is home to the fifth busiest port in Europe, Valencia which is also the busiest port in the Mediterranean. The country has Europe's longest high-speed rail network and is only surpassed globally by China. The major industries that drive the economy of Spain are the tourism, manufacturing, agriculture, and energy industries. The tourism industry is an important economic driver in the country, accounting for about 11% of the nation's annual GDP. As the world's third most popular tourist destination, Spain receives more than 75 million tourists each year, who come to sample its wide range of attractions. The prominence of Spain in the global tourism industry is manifested with the presence of the headquarters of the World Tourism Organization. Tourists from France, the United Kingdom, Germany, and Italy make up the bulk of Spain's international tourists. The country has a total of 12 national parks, the majority of which are found in the country's mainland. Spain is marketed as the ideal summer holiday destination in Europe and has numerous attractions to that effect. The island of Tenerife is Spain's most visited tourist site, as it is home to the famed Tide National Park, the most famous national park in the country. The Mediterranean coast features fantastic beaches, which attract summer tourists and their millions. On the other end of the spectrum is Sierra Nevada, the country's number one winter tourism destination, and home to many ski resorts. Spain is not only known for its natural beauty but also its historical sites. The country is home to the third most important city in Catholicism, Santiago de Compostela, which draws Catholic pilgrims from around the globe. Japanese Names 
Japanese people don't have middle names. Although foreigners may use middle names in Japan, middle names for the Japanese themselves are completely unheard of in Japan, and documentation such as forms, passports, and family registries, equivalent to marriage and birth certificates, have no place to write a middle name. Bumblebee Bat The world's smallest mammal is the bumblebee bat of Thailand. Kitty's hog-nosed bat, Praseonic Doris Thong Lunyai, also known as the bumblebee bat, is a vulnerable species of bat and the only extant member of the family Crazyonic Doridae. It occurs in western Thailand and southeast Myanmar, where it occupies limestone caves along rivers. Kitty's hog-nosed bat is the smallest species of bat and arguably the world's smallest mammal. It has a reddish-brown or gray coat, with a distinctive pig-like snout. Colonies range greatly in size, with an average of 100 individuals per cave. The bat feeds during short activity periods in the evening and dawn, foraging around nearby forest areas for insects. Females give birth annually to a single offspring. Although the bat's status in Myanmar is not well known, the Thai population is restricted to a single province and may be at risk for extinction. Its potential threats are primarily anthropogenic, and include habitat degradation and the disturbance of roosting sites. Rose Species 80% of the world's rose species come from Asia. Rose is one of the best known and most favorite plants in the world. There are 100 different species of roses. Majority of them are native to Asia, while others originate from Europe, North America, and Africa. Roses can be found throughout the world due to commercial breeding. Cultivation of roses started 500 years BC and resulted in creation of 13,000 varieties of roses. Wild roses can survive in various habitats, except those associated with extremely cold winters. Certain species of wild roses are faced with uncertain future, listed as endangered, because of the habitat loss. Pyramids in Peru Peru has more pyramids than Egypt. Just at the time ancient Egyptians were erecting their first major pyramids along the Nile River 4,600 years ago, a heretofore unknown New World civilization began building huge pyramids near the coast of what is now Peru. That discovery, based on research by Chicago-area scientists and reported Friday in the research journal Science, indicates complex societies emerged in the Americas centuries earlier than previously thought. This isn't something just a little earlier than other known early urban centers in this hemisphere it's a lot earlier, said Field Museum anthropologist Jonathan Haas, who has been excavating the site with his wife, Northern Illinois University anthropologist Winifred Creamer, and a Peruvian colleague since 1999. Something of this size doesn't occur anywhere else for another 1,000 years. This may actually be the birthplace of civilization in the Americas, Creamer said. Site discovered in 1905. The site, in a remote desert area along the Soup River, was first discovered and recorded by archaeologists in 1905, but lay ignored and unexamined for decades. It is near Carroll, a farming village that to this day has no electricity or running water. The people who lived there thousands of years ago apparently rounded out a diet of fish, anchovies and sardines by cultivating beans, guava fruits, avocados, peanuts and the Andean plants lacuma and paki. They also grew cotton for fishing nets but did not make pottery. Because this was a pre-ceramic culture, said Haas, this is not a rich site. There aren't the goodies here, the ceramics, gold, tombs and magnificent textiles that attracted archaeologists to other places in Peru. But the lack of riches also served not to draw looters and vandals, so we have something pristine to work with here. The most startling artifacts at Carroll, one of 18 large sites in the area that the researchers believe were evolving at about the same time, are the huge stepped pyramid structures. The largest, dubbed Pyramid Mayer measures 500 feet long on two sides and 450 feet on the other two. It rises 60 feet, with a flat top that city builders covered with rooms, chambers, stairways, halls, altars and hearths for ceremonial activity.